And do you believe in aliens or UFOs? Believe it or not, there's a lot of research that seems to show that something's going on. Yeah, Rice University hosts a unique collection of research focused on personal accounts of the supernatural, and it's been growing over the past decade. And as KPRC2's Andy Sirota shows us, researchers are now diving into these mysteries in a way that has never been done before. Let's look at this Costa Rica case. This is from 1995. At Rice University, stories that once lived in the shadows are now stored in one of the most extraordinary archives in the world. Again, some kind of object in the sky that we don't know what it is. The archives of the impossible consist of 15 separate collections documenting the supernatural, including UFO sightings and alien abductions. They include a vast number of photos, drawings, sketches, and personal testimony. It's created a community of inquiry, um, a very serious community from all of the sciences, social sciences and humanities and the experience community that we try to bring together and try to think about these things in a rigorous way. Jeffrey Kripal, a professor of religion at Rice University, played a pivotal role in securing a home for Jacques Vallée's work. Vallée, a French-born American astronomer, approached him back in 2014. The archives have grown exponentially. A collection of 3,400 letters written to author Whitley Strieber, best known for his work related to the paranormal. What's remarkable is how many of the experiences share strikingly similar detail. Why do so many people have this experience and why do the similar kinds of entities or beings show up again and again in people's experiences? The university is now embarking on a two-year study to analyze many of these accounts, hoping to change the narrative on a phenomenon largely misunderstood and ignored by mainstream science for decades. I want to see what the patterns are and I want to see what's in common. For now, they remain a testament to those who believe and those who want to understand. Do you believe in extraterrestrials? I don't, no, I don't. I believe in what the experiences are telling us, that they're encountering entities, but that they're from some other star system or from outer space, no, I don't. So where are they coming from? I think they're coming from the future. I think they're us. If I were a future human and I was an anthropologist, I would be really concerned about the present state of humanity right now. This is the first study of its scope and scale, and researchers hope it will inspire future generations, potentially reshaping how we understand the impossible. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.